You need to be born again. Every lunch. Yeah, sorry about that. That was just a shitty rendition. I thought I had the better one lined up, but apparently I didn't. Let's get to another one. Back up. I'ma need you to back up. I'ma need you to back up. 
I'ma need you to back up. Hell is you thinking I'm jumping and leaking and Leo is leaking immediately. Show up this evening and wait till you sleep and then wrap you up nice and neat in them sheets. Kick the door open, I'm scanning for motion. I'm just trying to make all my pockets obese. Don't want the coochie, I just want the luchi. So me and all of my poochies can eat. Might rob two chains for his loose chains. Take his boo thing, got the PF chains and take him cake and steak or something. Drop kick yeah in the face or something. Looking at me like I'm opaque or something. Nigga, don't I look like Drake or something? Shake a girl, make an earthquake or something. Better tell mankind and the take a coming. I'm in the seven, I'm gonna act up. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. Yep. I'm gonna need you to back up. Spilling the tea, you stirring the cup. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. Yep. I'm in the seven, I'm in the seven, I'm gonna act up. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. Spilling the tea, you stirring the cup. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. From off the top, the flow inside, I got you shot. Come, 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 come from off the top, you know I be smart to the spot. Come, 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 come from off the top, the flow inside, I got you shot. Come, 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 come from off the top, come, come from, come from off the top, come from off the top. Can't keep up, you too slow. Top, top. You just watch, I control. Top, top. I take half, you not hold. Top, top. Got your mind. This is a scenario, I'm in your area, this is your burial, definitely. Turn, turn, turn up your stereo, get this bitch jumping like Mario, now you ain't fucking with me. You, you, you niggas terrible, I might embarrass you right here in front of your whole family. Sick, 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 getting carry on, spitting malaria, hiding in fucking Nigeria. Here. This is the... This is the Yeah, with a beer, leave the hair on the chair so they know we was here. Staring in the fear like a deer when the car coming near in the middle of the road, bit of fear. You don't wanna rock with the man, hands off of the grands. Counting up bands while I talk to the fans. Knew I could jam, but the top wasn't playing, now everybody wanna be friends? Damn. How you said I'm just fine in the right place at the wrong time. Said I go crazy out of my mind. Then I think back when daddy wrote down that it might scrape and it might grind. But you work hard and it might shine. Let me slow down, switch the time and quit hiding, bitch. Back up, 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 back up,
Uh, hello, 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 and uh, welcome. Welcome to the 318th episode of the UCW Show. Check the title. The black community is broken plus sweet baby ink. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll just change the title because um, I'm going to cover definitely one of those two topics. Let's change the title to um, Salanderous. No, oh, Simps. Here we go. Simps Solander. The Red Pill. There we go. We'll do it like that. There's a whole lot of Simps. There's a whole lot of Simps, guys. And what they do is they look at the grifting cockroaches known as Andrew Tate and Fresh and Fit. They look at the leeches. Known as John Anthony Lifestyle. And they go, well, surely anybody that has a problem with feminism is just the same as these closeted homosexuals that work for the feds. I don't think John Anthony Lifestyle does. I think he's just a sex addict who's bisexual. But I know for a fact Myron Gaines and Andrew Tate are both closeted homosexuals that have links, work for, worked for, or work take money under the table federal police federal agents no man talks to the feds let me just clear no man talks to the feds who's another person that got caught stroking fed schlong and taking it on the deal oh that's right meek mill let me see right now meek mill is a baby back snitch ass bitch absolutely Rapping like you're a thug from Philadelphia? <laughs> we know Agent Smith and Watson both lewd the inside of your holes, bruh. Stop acting like you're hard like that. Rapping about Baghdad. Get the hell out of here. All these dudes. Every time I look around the corner, there's another gay glowy. I'm like, gosh, can there be a straight one at least? Maybe? No, not even one straight one. All of them deep in the closet. Gosh, what's that R. Kelly series? <laughs> he looks into the closet. I pull out my Beretta. Beretta. <laughs> oh, shit was so funny. Anyhow, how you guys doing? What we got going on tonight? Fre flesh and pit. I'm like fresh and lubed or fed and gay. I don't know. Whatever. Nick Fuentes. Oh, don't get me started on that guy. I can't even take him seriously. I just can't. <laughs> After you go through an apartment with a black light looking for evidence of zinc, I I just can't take you seriously. It ain't, there's no combination of words you could compose. There's no, uh, you know, in the infinite possibilities of human language and conveying just how sorry you are for Looking for zinc. There's just zero percent chance I'm ever gonna take you seriously. It's zero percent chance, man. But you know, I guess for the uh, Hispanic guys that view themselves as white and that want to um, rally behind the flag to blames other ethnicities for everything, you know, I guess whatever. Sure. Have they? Are they dangerous? No. <laughs> no. America for that you know those those guys aren't dangerous they're just actually they're so cringe I might break my black my back anyhow Feral Ravage says now Chronic is opening the closet I pulled out my slippy slide <laughs> he goes in the closet I go down my slippy slide <laughs> oh Murphy's back yeah uh, let's see here under Chronic did you see the picture of Myron Gaines in the hotel with a white guy with both their shirts off yeah no I saw that oh yeah I saw that. Absolutely. Sacred Smoke says, just got out of work, got stoned, playing GTA and listening to Chronic. Well, what's up, Sacred Smoke? Diod says, what's up? The track is going to drop tomorrow. Well, I'll give it a check out. I'll check it out. Brad says, Fuentes told people at January 6th to rush the police barricade. He is a fed. Uh, yeah, that'll pretty much tell me everything I need to look at. Bloxburg's Gamer says, I'm Castizo Chronic. I look at myself as white. Don't worry. Don't worry. I... 
<laughs> the patriarch of white people. I will take out some of my spirit. That sounds so homo. It's no homo. I'll take out some of my spiritual white people sour cream and anoint you, and all castizos will be white. You will go to Costco's and form families and hate your wives when they disobey you. You are now a white man. Congratulations. <laughs> It's all good. I mean, hey, look, Brits were telling the Irish they weren't white. Um, Germans were telling Italians they weren't right. You know, it's all, you know, it's all a bunch of, it's a bunch of hoopla on the playground. What do we got here? Successful endeavors. What's going on, man? Long time no see. Good morning or good evening, people. He says, pretty cool. Just some random guy says that's kind of gay, boss. <laughs> I said no homo though. Come on now. I said no homo. Evie says, you're invited to the barbecue. Well, here's the problem, Evie. I was going to cover what's going on in Haiti. Because <laughs> it's just, it's a goddamn shit show. And uh, the, one of the generals, and here's the thing about the Haitian army, guys. This is, this is going to make you guys laugh your ass off. For every general in the Haitian army, there's less than two privates. Think about that. For every general in the Haitian army, there's less than two privates. So you got like something like 50,000 privates and 49,000 generals. <laughs> oh, anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. The, the general that uh, looks like he's going to win and the West doesn't like, his nickname is Barbecue. <laughs> true story, guys. True story. I, re I was reading about this today. The general, the uh, I guess you call him violent gang leader or paramilitary guy or whatever you want to call him. His name is his nickname is Barbecue because he would like to um, roast people alive. Yeah, it's called uh, what do they call it? The Haitian necklace? No, the Haitian necktie. I forgot what they called it. It was like the Haitian necklace. Basically, they break both of your arms, they douse you in oil, and they put a tire over you and light you on fire. Yeah, that's a that's the biggest cultural export from Haiti. Are videos of that. Um, anyhow, barbecue was asked about his name because the West is like, uh oh, you guys better, you know, you can't have barbecue there. You let people on fire. He's just like, no, no, you don't understand. I'm not called barbecue because I set people on fire. I'm called barbecue because my mom was really good at making fried chicken. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're about to hear the most fucking white ass imperial laugh in your entire life. No, no, no. I'm not barbecue because I lay people on fire. I'm barbecue because I eat lake fried chicken. <laughs> oh my God. I couldn't write it myself, man. <laughs> you know what? I hope barbecue takes over Haiti. I'd love to see the fried chicken they uh, export because that would be amazing. Oh, man. Oh, what we got here? It's called neck lacing, Haitian version of cook cook from New Vegas. That's what I was thinking, man. If you barbecue in Haiti, is that cultural appropriation? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, Walt, Ch Walt Chamberlain says, I'm eating fried chicken right now. Oh, okay, well, cool, cool, cool. Successful Endeavor says, Dak, Juan, Sot, Malgus, Walt, Seraphim, PNC3. Okay. Let me inquire. Let me see if we have any co-hosts coming in today. Oh, gosh. I'm looking at this uh, static image of a white woman talking about how she's about to go on a sex strike. And she's so gross looking. I feel like I need to give you guys an eye workout. You know what? I'm going to put an eye workout up um, while we do the pre-show rants or the start of the show rants. Because uh, I'm not going to be the only one looking at this one. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to be the only one in pain this evening. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. You guys came for an eye workout. We're going to get an eye workout. Yeah, there you go. Um, I'm going to keep on sipping on this beer while I set up the rest of the show and get the things ready. I think i got to ask the boys if anybody wants to come on. Anybody want on tonight? And you guys can enjoy the eye workout while I uh, sip my drinks. Oh, Chaz is saying F yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you can see, you're seeing behind the scenes here. You know, the 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 Wizard of Oz is pulling back the curtains. Before I even show the screen this YouTube video, this woman's been looking at me the entire intro. 
all those dope beats, all the questions, all the jokes, the little stories I do, the random tangents. I got this white woman looking at me straight in my face on my third monitor. You think I want to see that? Boys, I sacrifice for you every day. I have the eyes of a 120-year-old man because I am looking at these disgusting Western thoughts all the time to find content to roast for you, Brutas. I need new retinas. I need new corneas. I need new lenses. These are very expensive procedures. If you want to support Undead Chronic getting new eyeballs, consider donating to cashapp.cashsign Undead Chronic. That's cashapp.cashsign Undead Chronic. Ruby's great great father says, Chronic, what are you talking about? Irish people are not white. Uh, the Brits didn't consider them white for a while. They sold them into slavery. I don't know how long. I mean, the Vikings were enslaving um, Irish women. The reason why the Ottoman royal family, or the, the reason why the Turkish royal family is white is because the tens of thousands of Irish women that Vikings and Moors kidnapped from Ireland and sold as rape slaves over to the Middle East. That's why there's white people in Turkey. They're descendants of either Slavic boys who were stolen from their families and raised to be warriors, or tons of white Irish honeys, okay? It's kind of funny. They came in as slaves. After a couple hundred years, they ruled the whole country. Yeah, I guess that's what you get for worshiping white skin. Let's see what we got here. Those damn Anglo-Saxons. Diogenes says, Irish slavery, well, indentured servitude, same as everyone else. Yeah, it was a little bit worse on the uh, for the Irish, I believe, um, because they were right next to the British, and the British were extremely powerful, and they did not care about the Irish. Musky Alligator says, yo, what's good? And sweet effing god on a pogo stick, what monstrous beast is on my stream screen? Well, we got this woman. She's going to talk about doing a sex strike, but I thought you guys wanted to get a little here. You know what? I'll do you guys a favor. I'll make it more in line with the show. There you go. Now it's not like she's getting closer to you. We got 360 people watching. I've had people telling me they want me to cover the return of Cuck Murphy. I know the quartering did a video about his healthcare grift, but... I haven't seen anything new from him, so it's nothing that I have, haven't already covered. So unless there's a new video or a new website or something new, I'm not really sure I'm going to cover the same stuff I covered with Hammerhand like a year ago, eight months ago. I don't remember. Dion says, if I go get a Bachelor's of Science in Chemistry, where I can go from there if I'm going to be hanging in Georgia for the – wait, good. If I get a Bachelor's of Science in Chemistry, where I can go from there – if I'm going to be hanging in Georgia for the foreseeable future. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Don't fuck up, man. You're so close to greatness. Now, chemistry is a radically important science for a nation's industry, military, and healthcare appliances. Okay. Unfortunately, chemistry, very theoretical, a lot of research, right? They, they basically do the science, and then they hand it off to chemical engineers that spin it up in reactors. Now, you'd think the people who invented the shit would make a lot of money, but they don't. Uh, universities are notorious for just, you know, taking intellectual property left and right. You might your your lab might next might be next to a Chinese lab. And then before you're even done with your clinical studies, that same your same chemical you're working on, the compound, is already patented in China. And then the U.S. says, you can't patent this chemical. You literally got your Ph.D. for because the Chinese magically came up to it. No, you dumb bitches. The Chinese scientists are straight up double agents and they are stealing every single piece of data they can get their grimy little hands on. People go, Chronic, why are you so mean to Chinese scientists? I love Chinese scientists. If they stay in China, I don't want to fund Chinese scientists. That's what we did with COVID. We really funded, we funded naughty biological research overseas. 
You see, we got laws. We we got ethics. Uh, we have we have our scientists take bioethics classes, and then we send millions of dollars overseas to do the non-ethical experiments and give non-American scientists to work. Bitch, bring that home. Let American scientists be non-ethical, because at least American scientists you have a modicum of control over. I don't know. I've never seen. Okay, I worked. I worked with rhesus monkeys. I've worked with rats, a, couple, a bunch of different rat strains. I've worked with mice. I've worked with cicadas, crazy enough. I've worked with plants, Arabidopsis, okay? I, what other mammals have I worked with? Haven't worked with beagles, but rhesus monkeys, rats, and mice. You know what some Chinese scientist techs do? I think it's scientists, the lab techs in China do. And all this animal's dead, huh? I'm going to take it home and fucking eat it. What? I am I have never seen even the most autistic spurgling sci undergrad. I have never seen them be like, "I want to take this dead rat home to eat. I want to take this dead monkey home to eat." Do you know why? Because we don't really have a culture of starvation in America. China had a period of what? Actually, not even a period. China's entire history is just filled with insane famines. Insane amounts of famines. The Yellow River floods. Oh, we're going to lose about 50 million people. The Chinese Communist Party acts a fool. They kill all the sparrows. Oh, we're going to lose about... 10 million people, I don't even know, just untold millions of people, it's baked into the culture, you need to eat what you need to eat to survive, it's called bush meat, that's why you go to China, and you see the weirdest shit they eat, because if you weren't willing to eat weird shit, you might have starved to death, anyhow, what we got in the chat, why don't you even go off on that rant, oh yeah, Dion, get, chem get a chemical engineering degree bro, don't go for chemistry man, if you want to make money, go for chemical engineering, okay? If you want to save the world and not get paid and have your shit taken, go get a, a biology degree or a chemistry degree. <sighs> okay. What we got here? Under chronic, it didn't matter where you were because the British were coming to you. Well, it did because if you're right next to them, it just made it so much easier for them to take slit. Look. Ruby's great grandfather. I know you're smarter than this. Do you think it's more expensive or less expensive to travel 50 miles to get some slaves or 50,000 miles to get some slaves? And then you could do the math. What do we got here? Just like Kush, marine biology seems cool to me. Gem power, marine biology is the. <laughs> the only valid reason to get a marine biology degree is if you want to bang white chicks in college. And you know what you can do? You can go get another useful degree and then take a marine biology class as a senior. That's what I did. It was a lot of fun. But I wasn't going to get the degree. How many marine biologists are even working today? And, you know, the I saw one. I saw a marine biologist a month ago. Do you and I told her? You should thank your lucky stars for this job. People are desperate for this job with that degree. And she was looking at me like she was miserable, but she realized I was right. And you know what job she was doing? She was at the goddamn stingray tank at an aquarium, letting kids touch the backs of stingrays. She's not out on the ocean catching sharks. She's not tagging sharks. She's not swimming through the coral reefs. No. So I wouldn't go for that one either. Yeah, he says, uh, Jim Power says, oh, rip. Yeah, don't. that was the number one trap, bro. That was like people. That was one of the OG degrees people would get and end up jobless working at Starbucks, even though it's a uh, scientific, a STEM degree technically. Solar Wolf says, "Aui, a puniti Buddhas." What's up, Solar Wolf? Jim Power says, "I like scuba diving. I didn't think marine biologists had shit work." Well, I mean, the work's fun if you get the job. You gotta look. You gotta get a PhD. You gotta write an amazing paper, and you gotta be at a university near the ocean. And then I'm sure it's a great lifestyle. But if you like scuba diving, bro, do some underwater welding. You get paid out the wazoo. Under chronic, would you experiment on college students and white girls who go on spring breaks like wild animals? 
what <laughs> what are you talking about I don't, no i wouldn't <laughs> i was too busy in the lab during that time getting my phd bro okay I heard when women in Iceland were on strike, productivity went up. Bro, I read that too, and like they buried that news story. Like nothing. Like women on strike for like a whole day, and nobody fucking noticed. <laughs> Probably like one dude in a in like an HR department. He gets to work. He looks around, and every other woman's gone. He's just like, just sits down. Goes, <sighs> and then did the work for the entire year in one day. <laughs> Just, yeah. Okay. Let's check the uh, let's let's check the cash app real quick, and then we'll move it along. I think we're good though. I got six drinks here, so I shouldn't run out of the uh, drinks to chug. But if you want to support the show, if you want to make Undead Chronic chug his drink. That's 20 bucks of the Cash App. That's Cash App dot Cash Shine Undead Chronic. That's Cash App dot Cash Shine Undead Chronic. Um, let's start with uh, let's start with some let's start with some thoughts. How about that? Let's start with some thoughts. Let's see here. Chad says me and Greg are gonna talk about oh. Let's see if Chaz has any time or if he's just pulling my leg. How much time do you got, Chaz? Uh, until Gray says he's ready to hop What the fuck off. is that supposed to mean? It's, okay, like how much, it's, like, it's like General Chaz. When will your army be here? When the new swan lands and takes <laughs> its first shit of spring. It's fucking summer right now, Chaz. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> okay, I, I'm not saying that, like, me and Gray, we're going to play some co-op Elden Ring tonight, so it's just, whenever he tells me he's ready, then I'm going to I swear, get to bro, that, you but... give a Grig a one poem book, and he's just, it's over. You can't never talk English to him again. <laughs> me, hey, man, the art of war changes a Griga. You know, before you got, before you can know your enemy, you must know thyself, and thyself need some shekels bro i'm not i'm not falling for it i'm not well actually i broke my last mic asking hammerhand for a preview so i can't i can never ask him for another preview again how's the audio guys let me know if the audio is fine just adjusting a little bit so should i just should we go over thoughts together should we yeah, go over someone sure. roasting red pill i have a very sad story i have a, a rage inducing story i mean hey you know it's your call Hmm. Let's look at some thoughts. Let's look at some thoughts. Here we go. Just you can you can you can give your reaction to this uh, to this thought as soon as you see. Yo, it. that thought, man! Holy shit, bro! I can't believe. Oh, oh, sorry, a bit too soon. My bad. Jazz. Yes. I swear to God, one of these days I'm gonna find you, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna... You're, you're, you're gonna okay you're gonna find me right but then you're gonna wait you're gonna wait for like midnight no, you know? okay I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna find you wait till like i'm gonna wait until like you win some fighting game tournament where is it you're like you're like the peak of the happiness and like you're yeah. walking away and then like the, the camera zooms out and it shows the sight of a gun it's like a mice have you seen a mice and men of mice and men no but oh bro i i, I know that that's the movie oh, with like lenny have you and read the it? rabbits have you and even shit? read it Bro, I can't read. Oh, bro, we gotta watch that movie sometime. Actually, maybe not. You get really sad. It's a very sad oh. movie. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, Gray is ready to play Elden Ring with me, so I'm gonna get to that. Mother Sorry, fuck. man. You but motherfucker. I, I get out of I here. Had, go, enjoy, I got, hey, go, go enjoy your gaming, bro. I got Mac. All right, man. Have a good one. Peace. Let's go talk to someone with an actual shell. Hey, hey Mac. You know when some, um. In some fields of biology, they say beetles have shells, right? What do you think about that? Is that a real shell? Uh, I'd say exoskeletons, not shells. So if a beetle was talking about his shell, how would you correct him? Uh, I'd tell him he's a shell cell. <laughs> shell cell. Bro, what was someone said? Fucking, I forget. Never mind. Anytime, my, anytime B-Made tells me like the joke, he'll just put cell on the end of anything. 
I'm like, yo, can I get barbecue sauce for this? He'd be like, fucking barbecue sauce. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. It's game, you're making fun of these people that just do what it was is Red Pill got big, Mansfield got big, and all these randoms are like, I can do it. I'm intelligent. I'm an alpha male. And they come online and make up their own like language, and it, it never catches on because it's just so fucking retarded. <laughs> and they're just like, right. you, you PC cells are like, you know, you're like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you use car cells or some shit like that. I don't even know, man. The worst are the ones yeah. that say like frame, bro. They like, maintain frame and everything will be all right. Yeah, it's funny as shit. And yeah, what do you? Uh, how long do you have, and what do you want to cover with me, bro? Uh, I was just, I was getting ready to go to the gym, mm. but I have like probably twenty, thirty minutes. Cool, that'll be enough. We'll do one segment. Well, let's just, let's just listen to some women. Um, Talk about Sounds actually. Good. I'll just present it to you first. Can I get your? Let me try to get your um, icon on the left here. Come on, give me a fucking turn. Where's my fucking turn? dude? I I I've never sorted any of my art folders. So I just have the most random shit. Oh, here we go. You have the most random shit just threw together. Mm -hmm. Damn, it's a big turtle. Can I do like that. Bro, I saved a turtle the other day. Did you? Yeah, it wasn't even raining. It was just trying to like cross like a five or uh, like a five lane road. We had like a big like uh, lane in the middle for both sides, and it was moving so slow, dude. I got out and I like tried to move it. It was hissing at me. It was a snapping turtle. It wasn't an alligator snapping turtle though, but it was pissing me off. Oh yeah, yeah. He probably was trying to get away from his wife though, so I can't really like be too yeah mobile. yeah you can't really blame him then it was like another turtle staring at me from the beach and it was smaller so i do think it was <laughs> a girl turtle <laughs> giving him shit he's like let me out of here he's like i want to die motherfucker <laughs> he, he got cucked by a smaller a smaller bro that's just sad no i think um the small turtle was a female <laughs> he's oh, just trying to oh, he drove him to suicide oh, oh damn that's rough poor homie Let's see. Uh, tag. Okay. What's your first? Let me, let me let me show this to the fans, and I'll get your initial assessment off of it. Okay. I got banned off Twitter for a week because I said someone should be lynched. By the way. Oh really? What yeah. The fuck? It was a group of eight black. Well, it was four black guys, four black girls. And they kidnapped this black mother, and they spent two days torturing her to death, raping her, and then shot her in the back of the head and threw her into like a, threw her into like a ravine. And Jeez. I was just like, this, this is literally what lynchings are for. And I got banned for a week. I'm like, I'm trying to defend black women here, and they're banning me, man. What's up with that? Uh, I think I think uh, Twitter slash X is going uh, going down again. Yeah, well, Maybe I got they, the. Uh, they reinstated their. Uh, was it their misgendering policy? Yeah, I got the story. I might cover it later, but um, it pissed me off so much reading the story. I wanted to do a video on it, but it's not even. It's not even like. I guess the big thing is, <laughs> you got to know who your friends are because apparently she knew all of them, and in the hood, right. your friends are like I don't know, one text away from raping you to death. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. That's the. That's why. I had the title earlier, the black community is finished. But we might cover that later or not cover it. I'm pretty sure um, that's the kind of video that. Um, that's the kind of video or the kind of topic that the people who control social media don't want you to see. Because even in a white man outside of Alabama, it inspires such righteous violence inside of you you're like we got to do this but if people started doing that kind of stuff the whole system would collapse because like first it's that and then it's just like well if we're going to make an example out of rapists who rape adults what should we do to rapists that rape kids and then it gets worse and then you know all the friends <laughs> all these friends that get protection from the federal agents and enough federal agents to stop the entire population from, you know, getting their friends. Anyhow. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wait. We see here. 
Fair Art says only racial division is allowed. Yeah, me me being angry that a random black woman was killed is not allowed. They want me to be happy or, you know. Yeah, say yeah. that she's not allowed to agree with like them. that. Anyhow, we got this. You know, let me There we go. Okay, we got this uh, video from Man Guides channel. And I do remember this guy when he had 15k subs, and I've got 107k subs. Uses AI voices, which is fine. I'm not sure if he writes AI scripts or not, though I never got confirmation from it. But anyhow, if AI is you taking the red pill further, I'm fine with it. He titled this proof MGTOW. Hey, here's another thing. I'm not gonna I am not going to attack this guy, man guide, at all for oh he uses AI voices. Oh he uses AI scripts, because check out this video title. Proof MGTOW is working. Feminists going insane on social media over rise and lonely women. Just the first book. Proof MGTOW is working. Which of the red pill grifters have the balls just to put that in a title, bro? Hmm. Um, I don't, don't think I've ever seen anything even close. <laughs> None of them. So I, I'm, I stand this man. I support this guy. Let's see what yeah. the sex strike is about, though. Women of LA, listen to me. I'm Do you hear her? <laughs> oh my god unfortunately I would, I, would, like, unfortunately. I, I, would, I would pass to tense myself immediately <laughs> all right continue exhausted with modern day dating culture and i need your help men out here are no longer gentlemen i am begging you and how many times do you think she's taken two dudes at once uh at least three at least three times but she wants gentlemen they always do I have a feel. Actually, you know what? She might. I don't know. She looks like a fake blonde. But here's the thing, man. All women are styling themselves the same way. They all sort of look the same to me. The fake yeah, blonde yeah. hair, the big eyebrows, like the big obnoxious lips. lips. Yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. Hook up culture. If we cut off the sex, their behavior will change. If all of us come together by not coming together. I'm funny. We can change the hmm. dating culture. Send this to your girlfriends. Oh god, it just gets worse. Look at this one, bro. <laughs> you see, back in the day, I'd be like, this is a trailer park queen. If she's a virgin, maybe she has potential. But I'm seeing like three different nose piercings, right? And you can deal with a you can deal with a four out of ten if she has a nice body and she's loyal. Oh, yeah. That could be a very Butter attractive face. woman. If she's a four out of ten and she's got herself pierced up. And she's been public property throughout high school. There's no saving her. There's no you, you, no one are interested. They're like, yeah, these kind of women, like, hey, in another world where she didn't get run through, maybe she could have been a valuable wife. But now, nah, bro. Nah, it's over. Men, just let you know, y'all won't be getting any until we get our fucking rights back. <laughs> what, what rights? <laughs> Which ones? Yeah. <laughs> I love uh, how they say that shit, but they don't even know what they're talking about. It just, it's it's uh, it's like the telephone game, but they just listen to what social what the algorithm shows them from these yeah. well produced leftist um, organizations. They're like, we need our rights back. They're taking away your rights. It's just this messaging, and they just parrot it. And you're right, dude. They have no idea what the meaning of the words they are using are. Like, I just don't think they understand the English language at this point. Yeah, I, I I agree. Also, why does this one look just like the other one, but with a different wig on? Is this the same woman? <laughs> like they all like are like like really sunken eyes, like a prominent nose that ends like a bulb. You know these these chicks. Look at this nose, bro. Why do these yeah. chicks got penis looking noses? Like, am I seeing? Is that just me? Like, there's bulbing out, and then they're just like it's so like masculine a, sounding. It's like a baby's arm holding an apple. That <laughs> exactly. But yes, I want you. I want to get to know you. I like you. No, you don't. You just want to touch my private part. I like your punyiti. I want to get to know your punyiti. I want to be with your punyiti. That's once women realize that when men approach them, what they want is sex, and they can determine whether that sex happens as a hookup, in a relationship, or at a marriage. They get all the power. They just, they was like, why does a guy only want me for sex? Newsflash. Men only approach women to start and initiate relationships for sex. They're either going for a hookup 
they want to date you or they want to marry you. So being upset that men who are sexually attracted to you want to touch your private parts it doesn't make sense. We think guys could be like, oh, I'm not sexually attracted to her at all. Let me be her friend and then maybe we can date. And then maybe, no, that, Mac, have you ever, ever dated a female friend? Like someone you were friends with for a year and then dated them? I don't have female friends. That's pretty basic. They're, they're, they're either someone I'm pursuing or I don't care. Yeah. Closest I got is um, a female friend from high school. And I think I've talked to her three times in six years. But I, 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 w- I wish her well. You know, I wish her, I wish her well. I hope her, hope her husband and her life, I hope she has a great life. But what oh, am yeah. I going to do? Spend my time texting her in the week? No, I, I have female acquaintances. There's like people I know, like women I know, but I don't, I don't talk to them. Like I can barely keep up with the homies. Like, yep. Uh, nah. But for women to hear you don't want to be their friend, the social power is everything for women. They need to be able to claim that they're friends with as many people as possible in case they need their friends. There's like an, there's an obligation there if you say you're friends with someone. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I can see that. Like if you're on a subway and you're about to get off and I like run up out of nowhere and I'm just like, yo, bro, we're buds, right? We're friends. And I like put a little bag in your pocket and run away from the cops. Like I'm asking you to do something, right? <laughs> it's, <Yeah. laughs> it's, kind of what it, it's kind of what it is. And women want to have that free social um, – not validation, that free social capital on as many people as possible. That's why they. That's why all these girls are like, can we be friends after they break up with you? They want to be seen as someone her ex wants to be friends with, making her more attractive. I don't have yeah. female friends. I don't. Uh, let me think here. Like, what, what can a woman even offer you like that a, that a homie can't give, like, like, a, like as friends go, like, what what can a female friend do that a male friend can't? The only thing they can do is introduce you to their other friends for purposes of sex. But almost always, when you like, when a girl says you can be friends, actually, uh, it, let me say yes, girl. Out, she says no. Oh, we can be friends. Sure, I've seen this happen multiple times. Yeah, I ask chick out, can we friend? Can we can we can we you know date? No. Okay, fine, we'll be friends. And then I start hitting on her friends, and it makes mm-hmm. them feel some type of way instantaneously i only had yeah. one chick like confront me after like making out with her best friend all night on the dance floor and frat party she's like why the hell are you making out with jessica don't you know we're best friends i'm just like i want to da-. i just looked at her i was like i want to date her and she's like mm-hmm. you asked me out yesterday i'm like you said no i don't want to date you anymore she said yes yeah. i want to date and she she like screamed her head off she like never talked to her best friend again and like dude they grew up together <laughs> And wow. I only banged her friend for like a month. But that friendship was permanently ruined because this one chick thought sh- her friend and her should agree that I'm the simp on a chain. Nah. Mm-hmm. Nah. The the jealousy of a woman is a powerful thing. Oh, it was ridiculous, man. I mean, I've even seen – I had a friend who like asked – so Chinese friend asked his crush out, Chinese girl. She said no. And so he's hanging out with – we can be friends. We hung out with a friend group and he literally dated every single other woman in that friend group except her. And, like, then he left the friend group. And she came back to him. just like, hey, do you want to go date? He's like, <laughs> shut up, bitch. Let's continue. Oh, one more thing. Mac, are we seeing a collection of the most unattractive women in America right now? I think I think it's like a compilation. Look at this. The... Look at the top half of this chick's head, bro. This looks like a Roman bust of Crassus. You see this? <laughs> like, hold, look at this jaw, bro, and the neck, the strong neck muscles. Dude, gobble, she could have been in. She was an ox in another life, bro, pulling that plow, but now she's Damn. getting plowed. Damn. <laughs> oh, man, dude. I'm serious. Like, this looks like a bust. Like, so the Romans, uh, the Greeks, basically, they do the Greek statues. You've seen Greek statues? Very yeah, pretty, yeah. marble. Everything looks perfect. The Romans were not like that. They were like, nah, show the, you know, most, a lot of them would be like, no, show me as I was. And there's a couple of them where it's like, there's like a messed up nose, like small pox scars. The Romans were like, nah, show the man for what he was. <laughs> show mm-hmm. the man for what he was, bro. Just look at ass. This is the year of divorces. Every deal we do seems like a divorce. Dude, it's been the year of divorces since what, like the 80s? 
Yeah, since Reagan instituted it. Yeah, since that uh, conservative decided yeah. to give amnesty out. And, dude, I can't – anybody comes at me talking about how Reagan's good. I uh, can't nah, – let's continue. Beautiful, beautiful girls only date men with vasectomies. Beautiful? Let's take a minute Question to appreciate these whales. Bro, look. Why do the – Dude, she has Mao Zhang Boo's villain eyes, bro. Look at this. Look you at know, this. I, I bet you that she made her eyebrows look like that on purpose. Dude, she like literally has like the evil monkey from Powderpuff Girls eyebrows here. Look at this. And her eyes are like eight inches deep into her orbits. And she's about pretty girls. Okay, first of all, um, I see this, uh, I see this uh, shirt, right? Little whales. You know what this tells me? Uh, 100% into DDLG. What's DDLG? Dominant daddy little girl. These people who get into relationships, they call their boyfriend's daddy to like pretend to be like little kids or like, you know, depend. Some of them, some of them fucking wear diapers, bro. I one chick asked me on a date if she'd be down to wear, if I'd be down if she's wearing diapers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She got the tattoos. You know, once you see tattoos here, you know she's been used, bro. It's like an oil oh, change yeah. sticker on a car. 10,000 penises done been in there for every sticker yeah. you get. <laughs> that is, oh my God, that's rough. Bro, I can <laughs> smell this picture. I can smell I the stale too, yeah. cat urine on the floor. I can just, just, uh, just, I'm getting PTSD from the trashy chicks in Florida I used to date. Mm. Pajamas, okay. Beautiful, beautiful girls delete their OnlyFans. Beautiful, beautiful girls no longer have accounting clients. Beautiful, beautiful girls no longer dance for entertainment. Beautiful, beautiful girls also take all of their photos and videos down off the internet. Beautiful, beautiful girls support other beautiful, beautiful girls. So what's happening here is um, this is classic uh, stage five bitch think, right? Bitch oh, think yeah. is when you think your experiences are everybody else's experiences in life. You know, it's like a guy who's six foot four being like, bro, why is it man? These mainstream guys are nerds, dude. Just ask women out. It works, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. like, if you yeah. think every guy is going to have the same amount of success as you at your six four, you are a bitch. Now, you might be jacked. You might go to the gym. You might be a college athlete. But you're a bitch in a worse spot. You got the brain of a bitch. If you got the brain of a bitch, ain't no goddamn saving you. Don't matter how jacked you are, how tall you are, how many times you can dunk a goddamn basketball. You got bitch brain, bro. And the only place for men with bitch brains is under the servitude of men without bitch brains. We gotta direct you. Like if, if you're, if you think your experiences, everybody else's experiences, if you think that's how the world works, you need to be directed, so you don't hurt yourself. Really? So she thinks she's beautiful, right? And she's doing all these things. I'm taking my photos down. I'm not dancing. I'm not doing that. And clearly, I'm beautiful. I've always been told I'm beautiful. So this is what beautiful girls are doing because it's what I'm doing. It's funny to us because we can all recognize she is. Do like a two out of ten. Like she's yeah, not morbidly yeah. obese. That's the only thing she's got going for her, but she's on the way there. But she's, you know, it's a bitch think combined with female princess wow. syndrome. Narcissism. I'm beautiful because yeah. I'm a woman. Who may yeah, have I say to take narcissism. a hiatus from making any kind of money for the time being. Beautiful, beautiful girls say no as a whole sentence. No, period. Because beautiful, beautiful girls know if you don't know how to play with your toys, maybe you don't get to play with them at all. Here. Dude, it just gets fucking – Mac, I'm assaulting your retinas today, bro. Look at this one. Oh, this eye workout. <laughs> Dude, I got to go I gotta go work out my full body right after this. And now you're making me work out my fucking eyes too. You're going to be – you're going to like blindly grab like a plate that's like too big or too little and like fall over because you can't see. <laughs> your bench is going to be uneven. You're like, man, my right arm's really tired. My left arm's feeling fine. <laughs> it's because you can't see a goddamn thing. What's this one? Um, this one's a three. If the last one's a two, this one's a three. Just because she's not, like, lying in a bed of filth. Here yeah. are my predictions for the future of cishet relationships over the next 20 years. Cis, okay. This is my predictions for the future of cishet relationships for the next 20 years. Okay, now she's back to a two. Because <laughs> yeah. you're full of that foolishness, you're a two. History will look back on this period of time from probably 2020 to 2025, but maybe even to 2030, and they're going to refer to it as the great divorce or something like that. Maybe the relationship realignment, but the great divorce is kidding. 
It's been what? going on again since Reagan passed it. Divorces are actually going down. Do you know why? Men are leaving because marriages are going down. You can't get divor- you can't get divorced after a year of marriage if those men aren't getting married. Mm-hmm. And these like shotgun weddings that end like in a year or two. Those have gone oh, away because yeah. the kind of guys that would have done it, they're like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no, bro. So divorces are down, correct, but marriages are down too. Yeah, homies are learning from other homies' mistakes. Mm-hmm. Next year, we're not only going to see an unparalleled spike in divorces, but we're going to see an unparalleled drop in marriages, particularly remarriages, which are going to fall off a cliff deeper than the Grand Canyon. Hey, you know what? She made, she's making a good point. We just, you know, marriages and remarriages are going to collapse. Right now, cishet men and women are starting this game of chicken, so to speak. Give me a sec. I got this ad here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I actually want to talk about this game of chicken she's uh, referring to because I have a great response to it. Here we go. Shall we resume? Indeed. Let's talk about this game of chicken between men and women. Is that men and women are starting this game of chicken, so to speak? As women are just now contending with their unhappiness in long-term relationships, men are right now doubling down. They're trying to call our bluff. They're trying to say, listen, uh, I hear you asking for something different, but you've always complied in the past. So if we just hold hold the line if we hold firm you'll you'll comply this time as no men are going overseas mm-hmm. and like what's what's me making a woman comply hey don't destroy my family because you get emotional mm-hmm. hey don't take my kids away from me mm-hmm. is, that, is that is that is that such a large demand don't that take my children ask? away and, and you think that's just men demanding things that women had to do before? If you, as a woman, cannot guarantee you won't take my children away, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go pay another woman $50,000 to give me a kid, and only my name's going to be on the birth certificate. And after she gives birth, I'm going to give her a nice little bonus and fly her back out to whatever country she came from. She's never coming back. I'm the only parent. That is how I guarantee women like you don't take my kids away from me and, you know, put them on estrogen because you want to get attention on social media. As well, but what they're missing is that this time is different. This time you have a bunch of women communicating with each other and figuring out for the first time that their unhappiness within heterosexual relationships, particularly marriage, is a feature, not a bug. So, wait, this lesbian woman thinks that, like, all these women are going to turn gay because men won't marry them? Is that what she just mm-hmm. said? I-, I think so. So she's, like, licking her lip. She's like, mm, I'm going to get so much conch shell coming up here in the 2020s. Is that? Dude, I need to, we need to send this chick to horny jail. Like, her, pol- like her, her political outlook is based on her getting laid. That's how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, so all these women are going to be gay because um, men don't want to get married and the men are just going to take it. They're not going to go overseas. They're not going to smash and dash. Also, what period of history were women happy? Is there a single period of history that women were happy? If you ask mm-hmm. them. Or do uh-huh. they always have something to bitch about? Always. No matter what. I want to vote. Hey, you know your father's bleeding to death in a trench right now in Europe? But I want to vote. Hmm. Okay. I want to divorce. Hey, you know, like, all those guys out there that are being abused by lecherous women and, like, having their money stolen from them? Like, divorce is a tool for these evil women? No, I want to divorce. My husband's abusive. Okay, okay, okay. But, but, but Connick, don't you care about women's problems? <laughs> I care more about the raccoon that eats my friend's trash every night than I care about women's problems. He's getting kind of large. I think I need to take him to a cardiologist to check his heart. 
is because his little brother works at a Dunkin' no, uh, Krispy Kreme. Mm-hmm. And every day after shift, you know what this, <laughs> you know what this six year old kid does? He goes, he goes to high school and he goes works and he comes back with a, a dozen donuts and he hand feeds his raccoon like three donuts. <laughs> This thing oh, is getting that's gonna be a thick so boy. So fat, bro. I don't think he can even hunt anymore. I think it relies on the donuts to live. Oh, I just surviving oh. on fucking donuts. Yeah, so I think soon it's just gonna live like in the house. I don't know what the plan is, but hopefully I'm out of here before then. Let's continue. <laughs> And we're realizing this is because we're talking to one another. Most of us have spent our entire lives being like, I'm just buggy. Either um there's something about me that's not good at relationships. You're, mm, I don't call her fat. You're chubby. You have a very masculine face, and for a masculine face to be attractive on a woman, you have to be like under twenty percent body fat, right? You just can't. You can't risk it with that kind of face. Or there's something about the men that I pick. I've got. Oh no, there's definitely yeah. No, I, mm. I'd love to see the selection of men you let inside. That'd be very funny. Got a buggy picker, I, or um, you know, I just don't have the capacity to be happy in relationships. It's a. Oh yeah. <laughs> She uh, answered her own no, question. I wonder why. I think she answered her own question. Me problem, right? But because of social media and TikTok in particular, we're all comparing notes. And for the first time, we're getting this freedom because we're like... <gasps> Wait, are you saying that when women talk to each other, they find out that their problems are actually due to someone else? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. So, <laughs> look, when women start oh. talking to her and, and like, it's not... <laughs> The problem isn't I'm fat. The problem is that I date felons. The problem isn't that I got chlamydia. The problem is men. Yeah. <laughs> God bless America, bro. Oh my goodness. Let's continue. I'm not buggy. It's not me. And no. Oh. Look at this. Oh wait, look. I'll ask a hospital Gaza. Can you please feed me so I can have 10 kids and come back in 30 years to ask for more donations? Nah, bitch. Or he's going <laughs> to hop the border. Get Wait, 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 wait. What's the most offensive thing to say to Gaza people? Get dreidled. <laughs> <laughs> Get dreidled, beta. <laughs> it's not like I support oh. Israel. I'm just, I'm just a troll. <laughs> Get, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't care about either. Get dreidled, beta. <laughs> I would love to go to a protest and say that. It'd be like... Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> like, what is that even? <laughs> what does that even fucking mean, bro? <laughs> I, I just hope that the next ad is one for supporting Israel, so we can make the same joke in the opposite direction. No one will know what the fuck we're talking about. God, what would I say? Get falafel? Is falafel? I don't even know what a Muslim food is. Someone tell me some. Pal- someone look up ethnic Palestinian food. What's the what's the dish of uh, Palestine? Someone tell me so I can make an offensive joke about it. Let's continue. I'm not. A, I'm not bad at relationships. The system that we have set up for romantic relationships is just a bad system. It's a system that was designed for men in times when we didn't have our own economic freedom. Wait, wait. So modern dating, because the system we have is um, didn't start to like the 60s. I would say like dating out like that, where like the women don't have to get permission from their fathers on who they date. Yeah, I'd say the end of it was probably like 65. So there. that system is designed for men? Wait. I was told that 30% of men are incels or they didn't have sex in the past year. But if the system was designed for men, wouldn't most men get sex? You see, if you go back to um, – let's take uh, the city-state of Carthage, right? Excluding the slave labor force, which everybody had those days. We're talking about citizens. What percentage of citizens do you think had sex in Carthage? Merchants, warriors, sailors? I'd say it had to be at least 80%. 80, 85, 95%? The major- yeah, 95%. But now that we have dating where you need to play fiddle for a woman's emotions, it's like 5% of men have 50% of the sex. So... 95% of men have the other 50%. Let's just call it even, right? It's probably not. So yeah. about half of men aren't having sex. Yeah, I'd so, say it's probably like 5% is having most and then like 20% is having the rest. So she – now here's 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 why she thinks this is designed for men. The men that she's not sexually attracted to are not human in her eyes. The only men who are human – I'm serious. The only men who are human are the ones she wants to have sex with. The ones she wants to have sex with, all the other women want to have sex with, and they're playing the field. 
shit, 5% of guys are having 50% of the sex. So in their warped minds, they think that this system was designed for men because all the men getting screwed over, you're not human to them. They need your taxes. They're going to abuse you after Chad abuses them, but they don't see you as human, right? And you know what? You could even be a top 20% guy like me, right? Maybe she doesn't like guys with beards. She doesn't see me as human. But that shaved Chad, oh, the system's benefiting him. We need to choose a different system. This is the system that benefits women sexually at least. They have 100% of the freedom to choose who to open their legs for. And lo and behold, women are horrible at choosing male partners. Because if a woman's alone, let's say there's a group of women, 10,000 BC, 5,000 BC. There's no men around. But there's a bunch of unrelated men nearby. Do you think they're going to go for the soft and sensitive man? Or do they want their uh-huh. tribe to go for the most violent and aggressive so like their kids don't end up as orphans too? Yeah, the violent and aggressive. Yeah. And we, <laughs> this is stuck in their biology. So now when they have freedom, they're always going to go for the violent and aggressive man. Throughout human history, throughout the – I'm going to say it. Throughout human history, the history that we know – the history of civilization, when people actually wrote things down, there wasn't a single period of time they gave women sexual freedom because they made such fucking horrible choices your civilization would collapse. It was men forcing women to marry men of their choosing to continue their family lines. Were women miserable? No. Go through ancient Roman poetry. There's tons of poems about Roman women being nervous on their wedding night because they have never seen their husband. And then he shows up, some grizzled legionnaire who's like 30, and she's like 16 or 18, and she falls in love with him instantly. Funny how that fucking works, doesn't it? Yeah. The idea that (laughs) the majority of human marriages and families throughout history were loveless because the woman didn't get to fuck Chad. You are slandering your female ancestors. Like, I don't know how women see their ancestors. They must thought them as like 10 cent whores, bro. They they never mm. loved the man just because they didn't have the freedom to fuck around town and then choose one. It's goddamn ridiculous. Yeah. Let's continue with this. <sighs> Oompa Loompa looking lesbian. And now that's changing and we want to change the system. What happened? To the original plot of the- planning to go boy sober in 2024, then ending up in an Uber home on New Year's Day. <sighs> <sighs> Do you guys are, just, are you starting to see why I don't care what women say? What women say a lot of times it is an expression of their emotions. Men will say things that are expressions of their emotions too. I'm sure some of you guys got in fights with your fathers and you cussed them out, right? And you probably felt like a sack of shit almost immediately after. Men will apologize for that. They don't let their emotions dictate, you know, their thoughts or beliefs. Where women will be like, I'm planning to go boy sober. No, that's what I really want. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. And then as soon as she feels in a different emotional kind of way, well... She goes home on New Year's Eve, right? Yep. That's only how it goes. Yeah, that's why I don't care what they say. You got to care about how they feel. You know, it's almost like, it's like when I teach, uh, it's like when you teach someone how to drive on the highway, where do you tell them to look while they're driving? Where they want to go. Like what, 30, 40 yards ahead of them, ahead of the car? If you look right in front of the car, you're going to be readjusting all the time. It's going to be very uncomfortable yeah. ride. If you shoot ahead, 20, 40 yards ahead, they'll be in the lines and be a smooth ride. That's how I see with a woman. You can't, you can't just focus on the words. Oh, my gosh. Readjust. 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 Re- no, 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 no. <laughs> just control the emotions, you know. He's like, oh, I, she's feeling sad today. How is she not going to feel sad? Oh, I fuck her brains out. Bingo. <laughs> there you go. Let's continue. The movie. I stopped dating like a month ago, and already I feel lighter freedom, like – I didn't. She feels, she feels lighter. lighter. The dudes that were loading her up with zinc were eating like tons of whey protein, bro. <laughs> it's like yeah, they're just... two pounds of just American zinc every week loaded up in her coochie. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I feel lighter. 
I feel like I can breathe. I actually saw my period for the first time in a year. <laughs> it wasn't. Com- it wasn't coming out pink and gooey. Oh, ooh. Uh-huh. I realize how much a weight I left on myself by like trying to find the one. There's just always that question lingering of like, is that the guy? Is that my soulmate? Like, am I gonna miss him if I'm not eyes wide open twenty four seven of my life? You missed him when you were sixteen. Yep. Yeah, you missed him at sixteen. You said no when he asked you to prom, and now you have the life of public property for the next couple of years. Oh, uh, she's probably got ten years on her, and then maybe she oh, like, yeah. goes to a different level of simp, so we'll run her through for twenty years. Who knows? If I walk into a grocery store and I'm not like darting my eyes at every man looking for a ring on his finger, anyone who's not convinced yet. Oh my God, Mac. Oh, my God. oh, dude, this one looks like she's in her late hundreds. I used dude. to think I was God. mean to manic. Mac generously donates his time. And <laughs> look at this, bro. <laughs> she looks like, God, who she look like? Have you seen Monster House? Yeah. She looks like the main character from Monster House, bro. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. I, actually, I can't look it up right now. But I, 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 she looks like the main character from Monster House. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it looks like Daryl Dixon. Let's continue. Yeah, the, the big divorce. I've been married for 10 years. I have. Four- I don't even know what the last one was talking about, but now I'm assaulted with this one's nose. Yeah. Bro, you could take down a door on a SWAT raid with this chick's nose. <laughs> uh huh. The battering, the battering ram. The battering ram. Four kids. The other day, I'm out by myself in the wild. No kids. This man comes up and he's just nice to me. We talk for like 10 minutes. He's not hitting on me. He doesn't want anything. He's just nice. Now, I'm never going to see this man again, but he has me contemplating my entire life. And that's all the fuck it took. Just be uh, nice to me for a few minutes. And I'm rethinking my whole life. I can't. That's why women cheat. Yep. This is why I always say never even allow your wife to be a part of society. Outside. Don't know talk yeah, to other no, people. Like, the Greeks were based, bro. You know, people go like, oh, burka's a Muslim. They know that burka was a Greek thing. They made their women wear veils. You let them mm-hmm. outside. Especially they go outside and they're working and they're stressed. Like, I'm making my own money, doing my own thing. Dude, that is just such an opportunity for some uh, dude mm-hmm. to come up and, you know, push the right buttons. And then there you go. There you go. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about this dude. I'm not gonna see him again. I can't stop thinking about it. So yeah, I get it. I get it. And it's coming. But maybe even to 2030 and they're gonna This bitch again, bro. Refer to it uh. as of the great divorce or something. Since we are talking about the great divorce and leaving uh, abusive manipulative This chick looks like my fucking middle school lunch lady. Is this um God, what Penbury Huxburg? What's the name of the groundhog, bro? Dude, she looks like the groundhog from Groundhog Day. Look at this. They say when she uh-huh. wakes up, if she spits out zinc, it's going to be another six months of clubbing. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, my goodness. Good for nothing relationships. I invite women to also divorce themselves from diet culture. Break up with dieting. Leave dieting behind. It is oppressive. It is misogynistic. It is misog- It is rooted in misogyny. <laughs> oh, wait, what? this is wait, this is a new one, bro. I got it. I got a new They're challenger right, right. approaches. Oh God, I gotta research this. A new, new, new dumbass language they made up. Misogyny. <laughs> it's like French. <laughs> it's just like. Oh, it's wee wee, it's 1920, and I stand outside a woman's house and go, Puh, dirty whore, massage noir. We <laughs> like yeah, a perfume so brand. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun with this shit. <laughs> it's massage oh. noir. Look at her face, bro. It looks like the oh. face of the top of a pinball machine. You try to throw the bottom of the back. It's like, <laughs> it's like extra points. <laughs> oh. oh, I love this shit. It is ableist. It is one of the most abusive relationships we could be in. How is dieting ableist? Who, who, wait, which disability? Which disability changes what you can eat? I know a couple, uh, like, but they're mitochondrial. They're like basically mitochondrial metabolism diseases. So, like, you got some weird uh, gene messed up in your mitochondria, and you you just avoid like long chain fatty acids. That's that's the only one I know of. 
I guess maybe mm-hmm. allergies and celiacs. But like, are you gonna tell someone with a with a life or any peanut allergy? Stop dieting. Eat some peanuts. It's massage or not. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Oh, I love it though. Leave it. Leave it behind. Divorce your never. Well, what's this one? Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. I really should uh use a different browser for this, but I don't. I'm just too lazy. I got all my saved shit on on Google Chrome anyhow. Right. I don't know. I, I just broke down and fucking paid for the YouTube Premium. I only pay for it on my personal account. I don't want to pay for it on two accounts, and I feel like well, I, I feel like I, I got I got the bougie family account for all my. I, I just sell it to some of my brothers. Damn. So I actually make money off of paying for YouTube Premium. Damn. I used to make my well. I used to make money selling oregano to middle school kids. <laughs> so that's a little bit different, Chronic. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'd be like, oh, this is Afghan Kush, the dankest of the day. Wow, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't want to get rid of it, though, because I was going to smoke it with some girls tonight. Oh, no, we want it, bro. Please. I don't know. Here's 100 bucks. I'll make. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I heard of Family Netflix. Okay, guys, off to the gym, but I'll be listening. Ivan says, you're better off listening to an actual magic conch shell than a woman. I agree with that. Bro, just use an ad blocker. Yeah, well, the problem is I get ad blockers, and then they get circumvented by YouTube. Yeah, so sometimes they, those don't always work. Yeah, Chronic is a terrible dealer. Look, if you're a middle school kid looking for drugs, it, if my son was in middle school looking for drugs, I hope someone sold him fucking oregano. <laughs> if you think about it, call it yeah, Italian. Rather, Wait, call it Italian Reagan. weed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, weed from Italy. <laughs> I'll have to check out Ulock Origin later. Chronic is why I'm addicted to oregano. <laughs> this is Andrew. <laughs> Sorry, motherfucker. Oh, let's see here. What we got here? You must suffer me. Have you ever seen a video games? Okay, give me a sec, guys. I'm going to uh, change it so I can. Get no ads because you bitches be complaining. Oh, why you got to stop it every 13 minutes for the ad? They actually, you know what? Make sure you keep it the same because every 13 minutes the ad comes up and it forces me to stop the segment. Hmm. Right. You know what? Maybe I'll keep the ads. You know, fuck it. I'm keeping the ads because it makes me stop the segment. And if I don't, that segment's going to be 40 minutes long like that, uh, that segment of that Christian woman that wanted to execute me in public. Yeah, yeah, that was like an hour. That, that was, was like over. An yeah, hour. that was like forty-five minutes. I'm like, fuck, I should have cut that up a little bit, but I couldn't because I didn't have ads. So, yeah. you know, we got your gobble hole. You're definitely not Aragon. Uh, you'll get the cravings for pasta. Now, if I was some Lord of the Rings, which one would that be? Mm. I'd be the Yurikai with the long ponytail that's fucking crazy looking. That like when they're running, it does the close-ups. He's like all of them are running normally. Okay. He's just like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, that one. I mean that fucking one. <laughs> Just put like an FBI sigil on um, Aragorn so when he throws his axe and kills me. It's like the Fed killed me. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, the, Ur- the Urukai. Are they, are they Grigas? They gotta be Grigas. They're definitely Grigas, bro. They're like half man, half orc, and they run through the day. Even the swords, yeah. bro. The swords, like the long blade with the point at the end. Oh, it's so badass. Oh, yeah, the square blades. Yeah. They're born yeah. from the ground. They just like spawn. Never know no bitch. I'm like, come on, bro. How are they Watch not? I think, I think the actual lore, I'm no nerd, or I don't claim to be, but I'm pretty sure they were actually the elves that died in like the, the way orcs, prehistoric the times. Orcs, and then they... The orcs were elves that were twisted, right? Yeah. The Urukai, they took, um, then they took people, uh, Sar- Saruman took people women from a rohan and bred them with orcs and so the resulting orcs because normal orcs are kind of shorter and they're scared mm-hmm. of the sun but they're a guy like half human so they're taller and they can run during the sun yeah yeah chaz is pippin bro i would do i would totally be smoking pipe weed there's like a couple scenes in the extended version where they're just like smoking weed i'm like fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah her yeah. tree beard's eyes are so red i'm like <laughs> dude they got so stoned they lost their wives <laughs> Still stoned, and they got marijuana plants growing on them. And I mean, they're definitely stoned. It takes them like what thir- eight hours to say good morning. That's that's about how I get when I get stoned. 
yep no dude they're they're um oh god did i ever show you wait no you didn't see that short let me show you that short right now all right let's see god where is it my channel i wonder if it's short or if it came out as a video it was basically me going to war against um john anthony lifestyle it was a short i had uh I think I had Manic Bank, the scene from Lord of the Rings. Let me find it. Dude, I'm just scrolling through this and I see all these thoughts and they're just faces. Again, a little PTSD, a lot of Brett Cooper thoughts. Uh -huh. Let's find this meme since we're talking about Lord of the Rings. I feel obligated to. Uh... Dude, what's this segment I did eight months ago? Florida man swims head first into 12 foot alligator. <laughs> <laughs> bro that's the kind of shit i want to cover i just want to cover yeah. that kind of shit but i'm never gonna be allowed to okay. yeah uh where is it i feel like i'm getting close you want to read some comments while i look for this absolutely into the orc chasm i think uh Sautuna was saying some i think he yeah what do you say it's not fully confirmed. Token never quite resolves the orcs, the origin of orcs. Uh, and then the follow-up is Urukai are heavily implied to come from orc human interbreeding by Sarni. So he he said what you price what you said. Uh wait, is Father Saunders in chat? Based. Okay, here we go. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I forgot who gave me this. Uh let's see. <laughs> I titled this. It's time to burn the cucks. It's time to burn the frauds and cucks of the manosphere. <laughs> You're gonna love this one, bro. Mm -hmm. See how the green skins? <laughs> oh, green. oh yeah. <laughs> Build a dam, block the stream, work the furnaces, like day. We don't have enough fuel to feed the fires. The forest of Fangorn lies on our doorstep. <laughs> burn it. Yeah. Burn it. <laughs> yes. Burn it. <laughs> it's just, oh, dude, now with the AI voices, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, the, yeah. forest of, the forest of red pill grifters lies at our burns, a doorstep. Burn it. Yes. <laughs> dude, some of them, some of them AI voices and shit, it's getting fucking wild how good they're getting. I mean, have you seen Glorb? No. What is that? Okay. This guy made an AI program. Well, there's an AI program where you can talk into it and it'll just convert what you say into um, the AI voice, right? So it's oh. not like a type to text. You can be like, first I did this. Pause. And then, and it'll change your cadence into what the character sounds like. So this guy, Glorb, got the AI tool for everybody from uh, Bikini Bottom, uh, SpongeBob, mm. and he makes mm -hmm. trap music. And the thing that's funny is, He's such a good fucking lyricist and writer. Like, oh, is that? I've listened to more of the that... Glorb raps than I have like mainstream rap in the last three months. Yeah, is he the one that made uh, what was it? The the bottom the plankton ones. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the, the, I did those were pretty like the fucking those things fucking slap harder than your stepmom's ex girlfriend. Literally slap harder than any like mumble bullshit coming from Chicago. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No. I'll have to show you some other time. He's released a ton of tracks, but uh, I did a whole stream about it with uh, Chaz. It was hilarious. But it's a uh, he he calls out YouTubers. He'll like be like he'll like call them out as like a pro. Like be like talking about Moist Critical because Moist Critical talked to mom. But so I mm -hmm. streamed all of his stuff with Chaz, and then the next one he put out there was a line. It was tell that hoe pearl or got my wife back with a brand new hymen. Tell that hoe pearl I upgraded to a diamond, and that's the closest he could come to calling me out. I'm like, fuck yeah, go on. <laughs> Get it, boy. <laughs> Get it, boy. Okay. Shall we return to the thoughts? <clears throat> Absolutely. Oh uh, yeah, I got time. I mean, you can read whatever you want, bro. I got um, I got other shit I can cover too, but uh, I can keep torturing you. Yeah, that's I can fine. Switch I'll it up take too. it. I, I mean, we, we only did five minutes of it. I can switch it up. We got uh, what we got here. We got uh, Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro talking about the red pill. <laughs> it came out two oh. weeks. I haven't recovered it, but it came out two weeks ago. And then we have this dude who red pill is male feminism. What? Yeah. And he looks, let's just say he looks like he needs to be roasted. So those are our selections at least. More thoughts with the square jaws. 
the Daily Wire, sure. or um, you know what? Let me just let me just share the screen with you so you know who we're talking about. This guy. Where's my tab? Look at this motherfucker. That guy. He's gonna tell us why we're feminists. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I, I mean, yeah, abs- absolutely. I I should think we should uh, listen to everything he has to say. I mean, he seems like he knows what he's talking about. The beanie really. Yeah. A, a true alpha for real. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me do a switcheroo real quick. You need to be born. Okay. There we go. I think he's a more Christian guy, which is fine. I'm gonna talk about how his church is filled with cuckolds. <sighs> we got here uh, stoicism. Um, red pill is now feminism. Feminism ruined everything. The end times. You'll be judged. You're lukewarm. Slave to righteousness. Ephesians. Intro. No, no, we can skip forward to um, feminism and everything. Skip forward right there. What we got in the chat? War, war never changes. Even gets to go to the undying lands at the end. The bald guy with a beard or Jenner? It's not Jenner. Um, I wouldn't really say he has a beard. It's more like a sprinkling of pubic hair on his lip. Um, hope AI ruins only fans. True alpha versus course. Damn, what a legend. I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah. I got to check my cash up, bro. People probably mm-hmm. want me to chug. Yes. I got to chug some <clears throat> drinks. See, I went to Lyft a couple hours ago, so we got going on here. My damn cash up. And if you want to support the show, if you want to support the war band, consider donating to cash app dot cash sign undead chronic. So I'm going to use, I like to just make up fucking random names because like some of the guys, their real names are the cash app. So I'll just make a one. So I'll be like uh, mm-hmm. Red Jojo the third. You know who you are, Red Jojo the third. He says for $20, drink, drink. Can I get an email for a neat story? Yeah, I'll drink. It's zombiekush05 at gmail.com. I'm not worried about putting it out because uh, Peaceful Latinas, uh, the treacherous slanderous promiscuous woman that runs that account already signed up my email for like 18 different phishing services so i'm still Mm. getting phishing emails from them so i think i might return the favor with her email but Mm. i know guys who i know guys who are really good at phishing so hey your random ass fucking programs versus someone i know personally who has you know he really i'll be honest guys He's really fucking racist. So all they got to do is say that she's Mexican. And that's all it takes. <laughs> you know what? I'm mean, going to say she's black. He would lose his shit. <laughs> it's like, why does he, uh, so he get so invested in that? I don't fucking know. But he does tech. But he's fine with Indians. It's weird. Because they think uh, a racist white guy in tech and like IT would hate Indians. I was completely fine with Indians. It's the, we- it's the weirdest strain of racism I've ever seen. And it's mostly Latino women and black them boys i think i forget the guy's crazy i think he's on, <laughs> i think he smokes meth to be quite honest but he does his job really good <laughs> so <I> really <laughs> care. okay we got in the chat zinc filled latinas um well as long as they're rehymenated all good rehymenated <laughs> i love that we're rehymenated they have a surgery they'll like make a fake hymen for a woman yeah. You're like, but no hymen, no diamond. What if they have the surgery? It's just like. It doesn't bring back who gets, bonding. Who gets a surgery? Who do you think gets a surgery? Non virgins. 24, went to college, made some mistakes back home. That's who gets it. Okay. I can sniff out the whore on a woman from a mile away if they have it in them. The hymen trick's not going to work on me. People act yeah. like it's like. It's just one simple rule. And if you follow it, your life will be better. But like you got to, you know, unfortunately, you guys got to think, you know. I remember my, uh, I remember my uh, preceptor for my PhD program told me that. I got some really good data. But he's just like, it looks too good. I'm like, what? He's like, it looks too good. I'm like, what is that supposed to mean? He's just like, it means you need to think. I'm just like, huh? And he went over to the microscope, the quantification machine, and he's like, look, look how sensitive it's been turned up. It's making you know, all your results look like like stellar results, but really it's because you're at this like uh, increased sensitivity. It was a, a camera that recorded individual chemical reactions with luciferase. And dude, I was like, 
<laughs> the second time my balls dropped, I was like, fuck. Uh-huh. <laughs> I spent a month getting that data, looking at fucking embryos. And, you know, he came in yeah. there and he's just like, no, no, no. Like you. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Great teacher, though. It's too bad he got shot and killed in a downtown city when he was, uh, well, I won't say when, but in the past, That's rough. obviously. That's why you don't go to cities no more. Damn scientists are foolish, bro. Smart people in the world, they got no social understanding. Unfortunately. Let me change something real quick. Let's get back to the YouTube studio. Oh, I have to chug. Oh, you're not drinking. Who's drinking tonight? I'm drinking. Uh, (laughs) How much do we drink before the gym, bro? Uh, I do it for the calories, really. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm on a seafood diet where I see I'm food guess, and I eat it. That's not even food. That's just, you're on a liquid just diet. Anything. You're on a liquid dude, diet. I'm, protein shakes, vodka. Dude, I, put, I, wait, here's everything. my, here's, I'm on a liquid diet, bro. Protein shakes, vodka, and pussy juice. What? <laughs> 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 no, I, I, I seriously, I'll drink a beer. Well, I have a home gym, but I'll drink a beer at, in the gym. Oh, just, no, that's fine. It, well, it's yeah. a lot of carbs, so it'll give you like yeah. a burst of energy for sure. Oh, yeah. I was like, um, a couple times I went go to the gym at like five in the morning and I'll take like two shots at the parking lot. And funny enough, I have some of the best workouts at like five in the morning after two shots. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Chronic, when are you going to do manic versus composite red pill community as a short? What the, I don't even know what you're talking about, bro. Savior says, I want to drink, but I'm in weight loss right now. Well, you know what? You should do what Chronic does because I'm on a cut right now too. You calculate your calories. Now, you might feel like an alcoholic when 40% of your calories go into alcohol, but hey, as long as you don't drink every night, you'll lose some weight. Crunk, you see what's happening in the UK? People are casually talking about overthrowing the government there. Ooh. I casually talk about throwing the government over on this yeah. fucking show, bro. Like, it's it's casually like talking about it. It's one thing, but like actually doing anything is completely different. We should do a whole chat. We should do a whole chat, get smashed, hammered stream. See how long we can go. It's going to be epic. See, this is how people um, end up with liver failure, guys. Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm trying to get gains, not drains, bro. Some you, yeah, some drain in your fucking body cavity because you have so much yeah. fluid from liver failure. Um, anyhow. Home gym is based. Pre-workout is vodka. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, vodka, I don't know. Is it good, like, sugarcane vodka from, like, fucking Russia? Because you can't be drinking. I, I don't drink. I, I used to drink that bottom shelf in the fucking plastic bottle shit, and that got old. Yeah. Well, you get money, and then you realize you want to spend money. The only cheap drinks I'll get consistently are White Claws. Because, like, what yeah. are you gonna, like how, what's, the, what's the rich comparison? Am I going to get, like, tonic water and some lemon lemon juice and, like, you know, just the right amount of, of uh, Everclear and make my White Claw? And I go, no, I'm going to buy a fucking White Claw, and I'm driving home. I'm going to yell at some white bitches. You want some claw? Yeah, I'm, I'm currently drinking something like White Claw. I don't know. It was in my fridge, so it's therefore mine. Is it high uh, noon? Is it high noon? No, it's simply spiked. I don't fucking. It's a it's a fruity ass drink, but it's it was pretty good. Well, if it's like a White Claw, it can't be that fruity, bro. These things are like fucking eighty calories a drink. Uh, this is one hundred and seventy calories. Oh, was it a tall boy? It's it's about the same can. It's like a Red Bull can size. Is it? Is it wait, wait. Let me move my White Claw here. Is it gluten free? I don't know. Oh, I hope well, not. Well, mine's gluten free. How about um? Well, that's some stupid shit. What about what we got here? Uh, three grams of carbs. Hmm. I guess they don't count alcohol as a carb. It's its own. But still, this is got nineteen carbs. Fuck, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get my carb game up. Okay, I'm gonna chug this. Cheers to the war band. Cheers to Mac the Snapper. Cheers to all the PayPal donations and cheers to the cheers. Manosphere creators that don't take shit from simps despite. Grifters giving us a bad name in 2024. Cheers. Ah, what do we got here? <sighs> okay, I'm up to date. I'm up to date. I'll make sure I don't have to like do another chug <laughs> before we start this response video. I think I'm fine though. Laps and potato moonshine. I want to start brewing mead, but I got to buy property first. I'm going to know I'm going to stay at for a couple of years, you know? Yeah. It's, I want it's to plant, a lot of uh, I want to plant, because I'm going to be living with the mountains. I want to plant 
juniper berry, elderberry, and um, huckleberry. All those will grow put their bushes, and they'll uh, they'll survive a freeze or two. I'll plant them around my property, almost like as like an outer perimeter wall outside the actual wall. You know, so you mm-hmm. go pick all these berries and get all the berries. There's always too much. You uh, press them and get the puree out of them. You get local honey, and then I'd probably use a champagne yeast to get up to like 13, 14% alcohol and let that bitch sit and sit and sit. And dude, elderberry mead, bro. I'm telling you, man, in six years, if we're still doing this uh, warband stuff, I'll send you a bottle. This is like straight oh, from yeah. the castle. Sweet. You, like pour it out. It's glowing green. You're like, what did you put in this? <laughs> wait, wait. What ingredients again? Can I, can I get a list? Can I get a list? <laughs> Why is it glowing? <laughs> You take a sip and you're it's like, dude, my penis just grew to the floor. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's a side effect. Um, I gave you a penile belt so you can wrap around your waist. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets kind of rough out here. Uh, I love making me some mead. Honey berry grows almost everywhere. Also, deer won't eat it. Birds miss the ones in the middle of the bush and they grow big, 10 out of 10 berry, but you need two of them. Uh, if you can, should consider getting Irish honeybees. They're more resistant to cold environments. I think they naturally don't sting humans. No, no, I'm not. No, no, you guys, you guys get wrong. I said I get local honey. I'm not fucking around with no bees, though. I don't want to get stung. So I'm going to find some local crazy motherfucker that does use bees, and I'll buy the honey from him. That's what we'll do. Karn, do you think chemists could create, create a philosopher's stone within the next hundred years? What is a philosopher's stone? Like, what was your definition of it? It's had a million definitions. The closest thing I'd say a philosopher's stone is is the uh, the um, heavy isotope uraniums. I mean, hey, if you told them with this much material you could destroy an entire city, they would have called it a philosopher's stone back in the day. Your mother was a goat and your father smelled of elderberries. Mac going to be walking through snow and see a Nord picking berries. <laughs> it's going to be me mm-hmm. picking berries. You're like, huh? <laughs> uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 out this month for those interested. Oh, shit. I got to check that out. Also, Path of Exile 2 beta June this year. Um, I have a job in life, so I can't really play Path of Exile. But the one I've been playing instead is uh, Last Epoch. Very good. Very good. Last Epoch is. Damn, we're going on. Oh, it's almost 9 o'clock. Shit. Anyhow, he's talking FMA, Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, okay. Karnak recommend getting a good recipe for juniper berries. They tend to be bitter. Um, see, I don't think I have enough time to do this whole... Well, actually, I, there's only 10 minutes left, so I guess we'll cover this uh, cuckold, but um, I'll get to the Daily Wire later and that uh, video later. I'm not going to talk about the black woman dying. I'm not going to talk about Carl Benjamin saying that all Zoomer men are homosexual and trapped in perpetual adolescence, even though that's – he married a single mother. Mm-hmm. And he's fighting for Great Britain. And he's saying that all Zoomer – because Zoomer men are basically they're, – they're 25 to 18. Do you know some jacked 25-year-old guys – you know, you oh, know yeah. some twenty year old guys that would fuck his shit up if he told him if he said they were gay. Yeah, I know Dude, a lot one of my of them. best one of my best friends is six seven and like two hundred and seventy pounds. He fucking shit up. And he's only twenty twenty one, I think. Does he play football? No, no, he doesn't. He's not even he doesn't even do any sports. I'm like, bro. Does he want to play football? No, you know he fucking works. Ask him if he wants to make a minimum of half a million dollars a year. I know, I know it's eight. I know a scout for the 49ers. So, like, seriously, man, ask him if he wants to make half a million dollars a year and if he's willing to work out. That's all it takes, bro. That's all yeah. it takes. He could be a beast. He could, you know. But if he just wants to work a shitty job, it's his life. I oh, know he actually makes really good money, but yeah. I'll oh, okay. Know. That's fine. But what a waste, bro. It's like, why don't you want to turn your brain to scrambled eggs so I can laugh at it and watch <laughs> and drink a beer on Sunday? That's not American, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's actually the smart move because, like, yeah. you had to, like, really, I mean, you'd have to have a whole family. Like, all these, like, football stars have an entire, like, family in the hood, depending on them to get rich. Otherwise, they're all going to die because they've been having kids ex- expecting him to get rich. Mm-hmm. Well, not die, just being impoverished. Lord knows we don't yeah, let no, people he- starve to death because the white man pays taxes and the black man pays taxes. Well, the, uh, like, yeah, the black man pays taxes, but the, you know. The N words don't. They're in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, what we got here? You know, he actually, he's actually more MGTOW like than anyone I know. It's kind of funny. 
does he even know what MGTOW? He's even heard of MGTOW. Yeah, no, he does. No, he he was MGTOW before he knew what it was. Yeah, dude, that's it was, safe. It's kind of funny. He gets heartbroken by some bitch. Uh, no, he 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 learned from he he learned he he's only dated one chick before. It's kind of funny. How did it, how did how, that like, happen? What what happened to that? He's just young still, and he, yeah, he just was dating the chick, and he ended up breaking up with her because he wanted to live by himself for a little while. Mm. Yeah, yeah, loneliness or solitude is addicting for sure. Yeah, Carl Benjamin sounds like a simp. Well, it's Sargon of a Cod, aka Sarkuk. Oh wait, Sargoy of a Cuckad. Yep. Someone called him Sargoy of a Cuckad, and he like retweeted it and like spent and, like well, like just lost his shit. He's like, "You're a vile piece of shit." I'm like, "Really got under your skin, huh, Sargoy?" <laughs> That's our word, by the way. Uh, Jewish people can't say it. It's offensive. It's our word, though. Right. What's up, my goyim? <laughs> some Jewish guy says, some Jewish guy says, oh, what's up, my goyim? Like, I can't say that. I just knock him out. It's like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, what's piling. up, bro? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I give the G pass to several Jewish people in my life. They can call me goy. It's a term of endearment, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. What's up, um, my goy? <laughs> One of my best homies is ethnically Jew, but he's Catholic. How'd that turn out? Is a Jewish mom married a Catholic guy? Uh, I think so. Something like that. Yeah. I wish. I hope my children are ethnically Jewish. Yeah. Not because I think they're going to have some advantages other people won't, but because I have wanted to suck on big Yazir titties my entire goddamn life. So. So true. Yeah, maybe I'll go to Gaza yeah. and level it just by myself with like a sledgehammer, and I'll come back mm -hmm. and they'll be like, oh, "It's the hero of the strip." I'm like, "Give me Jewish pussy, make it spin like a dreidel now." <laughs> it, 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 it didn't get a lot of views, but I did make a short, you know, where you're like, "I, I fucking love Jewish women, bro," and I made that into a short, and it was, I, I thought it was funny. Fucking send that to me, bro. Where is it? <laughs> I didn't even uh, it was see, like, it wasn't it. even that long ago. It was like, Damn. not even. A but a few days ago. Damn. Um, he must be pretty frugal. Trust in none of them. Ah, nah. Well, look, look, guys. If you think that there is like, you, you'd have to believe there's some kind of um, like Jew to Jew brain link where they can communicate with each other or <laughs> some shit like that. Because most of the Jewish guys I've met, they're in the position where their mothers are horribly, how should I say, emotionally abusive like they want to control their son's lies it's a very it's a stereotype if you talk to jewish guys what's the jewish mother stereotype oh they won't let you date until you're 25 oh they're like scared you're gonna get shot if you like look across the street like they're super overprotective and crazy so the two jewish guys i was friends with their their moms were definitely like that when they were um definitely a religious but uh let's see what we got here abigail got nice knockers in, in infiltrators and usurpers well, I mean, like, what do you think about what do you think about the white businessmen who align themselves with Jewish bankers? Like, super. Like, we're really talking about super rich people, guys. Like, the Jewish dude who makes a hundred thousand dollars a year, he probably has no power over immigration. But the white and Jewish people who are making billions of dollars a year, who you don't know their names, they probably have all the power over immigration, right? That's how I think. That's how I feel about it. I sent that short to the to the warband chat. Dope, dope. Cause they're yiddies. Yep. Yes, indeed. Okay. We got um, youth pastor one hundred and one real quick, and then we'll end the stream. Sounds good. Uh, where is it? Uh, tab. Here we go. No, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm, wait. I'm going to watch this really quick. I fucking love Jewish women, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I said that was I said that was so much passion, dude. I know. <laughs> well, you don't understand. Dude, that's yeah, absolutely. I will say uh, if my tax if my tax dollars quote unquote go to ensure there is a population of Jewish women for me to um well, spend Chandler the dream. says with, someone has to pay retail. That's an amazing short, bro. I'm gonna share Thanks. that. Uh, you gotta, you gotta DM me some of your shorts. Like DM me your videos because I just share them on my community tab a bunch of times. Because if I just keep on sharing your shit, especially when the show, you should get up to like two or three k um, subs in a month. We got All here. Right. 
Yeah, I'll start sending you pretty much every. I'll just whenever yeah, I make one, I'll send it to you, and you can share the ones you want. Reminder. Well, I mean, we, we sh- we'll just talk to Manic because there's a way if you're a manager of my channel to post community posts, and then I just give you that access, and you can like whenever you want to post a shout out to your channel, go ahead. What we got mm-hmm. here under Chronic. You got to put my song on next stream. Well, it's got to drop first, right? Um, Trump was like, please take care of her. Okay, before we start, can I go take a piss, bro? Can you read some comments? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Go okay, for I'll it. be back momentarily. Oh, the John Smith says Jews rock. Um, I don't, I don't know about that. They, I mean, I mean, I don't, is there even any rock bands that were Jewish? I don't know. You guys know, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really, uh, follow, like, I was, I like songs. I don't even like bands that much. I don't follow the lore, the deep lore behind all these bands. So I don't know if they rock or not. Truth Hunter says, knew a guy who was 6'4 at like 12. That is that is just hateful, bro. That, I, that's got to be hate speech. I mean, yeah. Damn. Uh, uh, and when says Trump was like, please take care of her. Who? Oh man, you you guys got to stay on topic here, homies. Like, good night. Nah, nah, Persian, toxic but worth it. Sleep with a stab-proof vest. <laughs> no, oh damn. Yeah, I think Banana's speaking from experience with that one. Uh, Kiss, Kiss was a uh, a Jewish band. Do you know that? I mean, everybody knows that stands for Knights and Satan Service, right? Uh, Sotinar says Jews yeeted the Goths. They opened all the gates to the Muslim. Yes. Darth Malgus, hello. Or, or as many would say, hello. Here we go. Mm. Let me make it so we can see both our avatars. General nutsacks, Jews. General you know. nutsacks. Okay, I got a new one. Don't read comments about Jewish people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new rule here. Um, dude, I bet I can make a video defending Jewish people and I get it taken down for anti Semitism. But fuck, man. <laughs> they just don't okay. care. Like, they just actually don't care what I say. It's just if you say it enough times, they'll freak out. Yeah, true. I'm like, Jewish women are smart, Jewish women are pretty. I want Jewish women to sit on my face. And they'd be like, this is anti Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> just like just call me a horn dog but don't don't call me anti-semitic it's gonna ruin my chance of getting a jewish woman sitting on my face bro <laughs> oh diaz says chronic shorts are gold brothers you gotta watch them i gotta start uploading more shorts because like if you they just always pop off in the algorithm dude oh yeah yeah chronic don't trust them okay if them means women you are correct <laughs> <Indeed>. <laughs> Well, there's one guy I probably won't ask anything when. Okay, whatever. Okay, cool. Uh, let's start this. So we have um, David Hammond, and he does the classic. I'm going to fold my arms and like pump them up so my arms look bigger in my YouTube profile picture, which is a beta move. He says, red pill is male feminism. Parentheses, you've been lied to. Close parentheses. Okay. Despite having 217,000 subscribers, can you guess how many views the video has? Well, you would see it. It's 2.7 thousand views. 2.7K. So yeah. 1% of your subs watched a video in two weeks. They're either paid for or they're old boomers that subbed because you said you were a Christian and then never open up YouTube at all. Mm-hmm. Let us begin. Life. Uh, To finish it up, though, I mean, to kind of bring it full circle. So feminism in the traditional sense, it worked. It ruined everything. It's only getting worse. You could say we're in like fourth or fifth wave feminism now because now we don't even know what a man or a woman is. Uh, I I, I wonder if this guy thinks women should vote. Do you think he thinks they should vote? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think he's probably one of those feminists. that's like, yeah, you know, w- w- women should do this and that, but I still think that they, you know, they still deserve rights. They still should be able to vote. I've I've heard it from like ninety nine percent of people who say feminism is bad are at least first wave feminists, including oh, yeah. Lauren Southern, who blocked me on my new Twitter account 
because she was talking about how red pillars are starting to become locales. And I quote tweeted, I said, I literally red pill dunked on your entire life. And she blocked mm-hmm. me because, hey, you know what? Sometimes when you have a calm conversation that is truthful and it cuts a woman's feelings, that's worse than if you just scream at her and call her bad names. If any time in my life I meet Lauren Southern, by the time I meet her, she's going to be a uh, wrinkled old beanbag, and I'll be in the so prime tomorrow? of my life. I'll be in the prime of my life. Yeah, well, even worse, right? Let's continue. Uh, everyone's confused. We are all over the place. It just YouTube um, mechanics, bro. If you set up a camera and you set up a ring light. And you're going to take this YouTube and you got 217,000 subs. Why the hell are you slapping a water bottle in your hands? It's like a nervous tick. It's like when you say, we're here today um, for graduation. Um, but, you know, uh, people, uh, people, uh, you know, that's what it's like. Drop mm-hmm. the damn water bottle. You're not working out. You're in a cotton t-shirt. You're not sweating. The water bottle doesn't give you personality. Drop the water bottle and utilize your hands to communicate with your audience. Maybe that's why this video has under 3,000 views because you weren't a good YouTuber. It, it's ridiculous. We're in the end times, right? Where men call good evil and evil good. So it's biblical, guys. This has to happen, unfortunately. Believe me, I wish it didn't have to, but it does, right? Things got to get worse before they get better. But red pill is the exact equivalent, but with men. Mm. Look at those eyes, bro. You know what I see? I see the eyes of a weak man. I see the eyes of a man who was taught to worship forgiveness and never to implement justice. And when men play the same game women play, it's a problem. I've seen these kind of guys in churches before. They yeah, usually really don't like me. They're like youth pastors or associate pastors. They come around and talking and all this stuff. And they just they, – they, they twinkle toe near a subject that I am well informed on and they'll ask me a question or they'll say something and they won't like the answer and they'll ask me to back it up biblically and I do. And they say, well, that's not how we interpret that verse. Mm-hmm. And I go, well, yeah, we no, interpret yeah. that verse differently. And they just look at me shocked. They're like, but – but – but Boomer McGee, pastor, who I've known since I was a boy, he is absolutely right in everything he says. How could you stand against the pastor? It's like, listen here, guys. Listen here. We left the Catholic Church primarily because Martin Luther wanted the average Christian to read the Bible and come up with his own opinions instead of being dictated what it actually meant by the priests. And then as soon as you form a little evangelical church, what do you do? You worship your pastor's words. You don't form your own opinions. Lord forbid you interpret a verse differently than your pastor. He's your Messiah. That is idolatry, and which is why I don't go to the major- majority of Christian church- churches are full of heathens. They worship the pastor, the Boomer McGee. They worship the money. They worship the AC. They worship women. They don't worship Christ. And that's why I don't really go to church anymore. It's depressing. Yeah, I agree. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm Roman Catholic. Or was raised Roman Catholic. At least the ritual is consistent. At least you can go to a mass and be like, my warrior ancestors said these same words in Latin. Right? With the, mm-hmm. with the, with the Protestant churches, though, Dude, they do some worship songs, and then it's 45 minutes of you don't know what. Could be complete cuckatry. Yeah. Oh, so dependent. I mean, the, the biggest problem with it, though, is, like, you go there, and, like, they still don't preach what, or, like, even say. Like, they don't tell women to be, they tell them to be, you know, decent, but then they're, they don't push it for the parents to train their kids to be decent. So, like, I'll go, the gym I attend a bunch of the girls from my church go there and they are wearing they, they get I see them in church with a long dress on and then I'll see them in the gym with these tiny ass like ass crack uh, shorts on and I'm like what are you doing like well, why do you go to church if you're just going to come here and be like this and so that just it makes me lose so much faith 
in the church, not 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 in the faith, but like I've I've never received more hatred from anyone else, not feminists, not anybody, than hatred for for my faith from Catholics. Yep. Because I believe it so much more firmly than they could ever even think. Because I've actually only met three people in my life who have read the entire Bible, mm. like in person. And one of them was a uh, brother, like a uh, a a Catholic, a guy who like wears a Catholic, but you know, not a priest, like a monk. Yeah, like a monk. Mm. My father reads the Bible through and through once a year. He takes notes on it. He's got a big library, well, a bookshelf with like thirty, you know. 20-something Bibles on it, each of them uniquely annotated by the year. And he'll write at the start of the the blank pages, he'll write about big events during the year, and his thoughts, like a little, not like a diary, but like big thoughts for the year, because there's only two pages. He said, when I die, I'm going to give you my Bible collection. And that's probably the best thing he can give me. I mean, Mm -hmm. what else could you want? Like, seriously, that or $100,000, I'm taking the Bible collection. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've read the Bible. I'm on my 11th read through right now. Still don't know shit. Don't know shit about it. Uh, but I'm working there. My favorite is to um, <laughs> maybe this is sacrilegious. <laughs> I'll listen to some of the weird Old Testament stories about judgment and death and all this stuff on a mm-hmm. light hallucinogen. <laughs> like, listen to it. <laughs> and I'd be like, I am. I am the Jewish judge, and I'm going to beat the shit out of some Philistines. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. Right? I don't need no woman. I mean, doesn't doesn't Paul say it's better for you to remain unmarried? So that's biblical. You can explain yeah. that that's not biblical. You can say he meant something else, but if you, you know, the Apostle Paul said it's better for you to remain unmarried, but if you burn with passion, you should get married. Um, hmm. Okay, let's continue. Right? I'm not going to be monogamous. I'm going to continue. Okay, well, I can agree with that. Look. The red pill itself is a set of tools to become sexually attracted to women. That is it. People who take it as a philosophy and a lifestyle, do you know what we call those people? Those people are sex addicts. If you're like, red pill, red pill, red pill, get my numbers up. I'm not monogamous. You could be not monogamous and a monk. You can be like, I'm not in a monogamous relationship because I'm not dating women. But if you're just like laying with random chicks, you're probably just, I don't know. The guys who, like, guys like John Anthony Lifestyle and these other gurus, it's so clear that they're sex addicts. But why they have such a pull on young men? Because 15 and 16 year old boys, do you know what they care about the most in the world? Having sex. To cheat, to hook up, to spin plates. Just, it, it's literally, yeah, male feminism. How's that? Wait, wait, wait. Having sex with a lot of women is male feminism. Is female feminism just about having sex with a lot of men? No, that's being a hoe. Because there was people, there's promiscuous people throughout history. The Romans were extremely promiscuous. They had like a competition between two prostitutes to see who could bed the most men in one night. Were they feminists? They couldn't vote. They had no military power. They were hoes. What about a guy that sleeps around a lot? Is he automatically red pill? Was Genghis Khan red pill? You think Genghis Khan was like, I got to nag this woman this way. No. He burnt her city down. <laughs> it's just, it's the idea that the, the feminism, you, you don't know history. A movement started on the internet that has zero power and zero government funding cannot be compared to a foundational institution of the West. Yeah. Is, 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 like, it's on. almost like I don't know. Is he talking about like, like pickup cook, pickup roach red pill, or is it like uh, no? He's, the he's, actual talk, red he's pill. talking about pickup coach. He's talking about pickup oh. artists, right? The people. Who so he knows nothing. Yeah. Well, he's like much. he thinks, and this is the problem. Like, we're being judged by people who think we believe the same thing as Myron Gaines because Myron Gaines has a lot of subs. Mm-hmm. Right. That's a, that's a damn shame. Yeah, we're being judged as sex addicts because gay feds are depicting us as sex addicts. <laughs> you know what? 
Let me make this exquisitely clear. Give me $10,000 to fly down to Miami on a Sunday afternoon. And if I kidnapped Myron Gaines and I did a rectal swab and put that material under a microscope, I guarantee you, you'll find swimmers. Mm. And I'm, and he represents me. An Arab guy. An Arab guy that drops the end bomb and is a sex addict who finds relationships on prostitution sites and takes naked pictures with men and works for the feds. He represents me. The feds want me dead. And you think a federal agent represents my best interests? This is being stupid. Maybe if you weren't so stupid, the church wouldn't be in such a perilous state. But you're emotional. You think of the woman in your church that patted your head and called you a good, strong lad when you helped them move their luggage. And you will simp for the rest of your God-forsaken life because you worship women. If I die and go to heaven and I see simps like this, God, where's the high dive? I'll mm -hmm. burn. Please, just let me burn. Oh, there's no right, way. Right, get my own. Like there's I'm no just, way that people like this go to heaven. Who knows? Right, who knows? Money, and then I don't need a woman. And what's very sad about that is that's not in a man's blood. A man's blood, whether these men like to admit it or not, is to build, provide, protect, and create a lineage, right? Create a. Okay. Do you know what else is a man's blood? <laughs> okay, let's talk about what's in a man's blood. So. Who's the most famous Roman back? Uh, fucking, ah, damn it. Uh, I, I can't, I can't, uh, Caesar. Yes, yes, there you go. Julius Caesar. Yeah. He was going to war against the Germans. He finally caught Vercingetorix at his capital city called Elysium. It was on a hill. It was on a hill. What Caesar did, because basically... Every Roman army corps was basically also a corps of engineers. Very smart with math. You know, the idea that studying and discipline would help you to war is foreign to these gangbangers in Chicago. He built a wall around the city to prevent any of them from escaping. Now, there was a contingent of about a couple thousand um, heavy, heavy Gallic cavalry that was searching for him. So we had to protect his backside. So we built a wall around the wall. So two sets of walls to siege a city and simultaneously defend from Gallic raids and cavalry charges. And the Gallic cavalry was the best in the world at the time because they're goddamn crazy. Better than the Romans. And so during the siege of Elysium, in the city, they were running out of supplies. We don't have enough food. We don't have enough water or medicine. What do you think they did? You have to keep the warrior strong because you want to win the war. They sent out, they expulsed, expulsed every single woman, child, and non-fighting man. Well, there's a problem. The entire city is encapsulated by a wall. And so do you know what happened? Both sides watched over the next month as women and children starved to death between the fortifications. It wouldn't that's, be a bunch of diseases, too. Yep. That's what's in a man's blood. To watch women and children starve to death in front of you to win a war. But you want to call back to a man's bloodline and be like, you're supposed to have you're supposed to have descendants. You're supposed to protect and provide. Bitch, my ancestors were raiding people. My ancestors set fire to homes. Yeah, they murdered they people. Took what they wanted. They decapitated people. I bet one of my ancestors was a crazy enough motherfucker. He'd decapitate someone and then like, let the blood drip down his mouth. And I'm supposed to, yeah. you want me to emulate that? No, you don't. <laughs> I don't want yeah, to emulate if, that. If, if we did what's in our blood, they would freak the fuck out. Oh, my goodness, dude. <laughs> They're like, it's in your blood to sip. It's in my blood to burn. Yeah. <laughs> Just... I hate these calls of the past. Like, it's not natural. Think about what your bloodline demands. If every man did what his bloodline demanded, the incels would get laid in one night. Oh, absolutely. Every do you, day. Do, yeah. you think that would be, do you think that would be consensual? 
Uh, no, 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 not even no. close. You are you want men to tamper and inhibit their primal desires. Saying that they need to do things based off their primal desires is the complete opposite of what you want. Yeah. <sighs> Anyhow, let's continue. Bloodline, right? Create the ham and bloodline. Create the whatever your name bloodline is for you just to. Have I don't need a woman for that. <laughs> you don't need a woman to create a bloodline anymore. Now, you need one to gestate the baby, but I don't need to get married. Yeah, you don't need a wife. I don't need a, I don't need a wife. I don't need a girlfriend. I don't even need to talk to women. I can pay. I can pay a woman and send my sample to her, and then she can use a turkey baster, and then when the kid is born, I could do a paternity test. And then I could then send the final payment, and then the baby could get dropped off to my house by a courier service. I could literally never see a woman in my entire life and buy a son now. Isn't that amazing? Don't so, too <laughs> good to be true. No, it's like 60, 60 to hundred thousand dollars. It's expensive, but maybe once food starts running low, it gets a lot cheaper. But yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah. more like a loaf of bread. Yeah. So the saying. You need to continue your bloodline so don't be red pill. That's that doesn't work. You need to follow your ancestors so don't be red pill. That doesn't work. What what else is he gonna say? Have sterile sex, to just hook up, never have any child, never have a wife. Your bloodline ends with you. That is one. A lot of guys are fine with that too. Like a lot of guys don't care. They're like, so. A lot of my ans distant ancestors or my ancestors' relatives. They died in war. They never had kids. Their bloodlines ended. They sacrificed themselves and they didn't get to continue a bloodline. See, now you have to sacrifice yourself to get a bloodline. And that bloodline's not guaranteed. Let's say you have a kid. You see one kid. It's a daughter. What's the chance she's going to have a kid? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, she's a feminist. Well, she's a corporate person. Well, she's trans. Well, she, what if your kid decides to be trans? Huh? Mm -hmm. So, like, the bloodline argument isn't particularly strong, in my opinion. One of the most yeah. effeminate things I can think a man uh, can do, and it's not what any man wants to do. Even if a man never gets married, let's say he he maybe is on my path, right? May, maybe I'm going to be celibate serving the Lord, just like Paul, all, all the days of my life, right? Hmm. Are we surprised he doesn't have a wife and he's single? No. Christian women out here are literally making fun of you. I've seen them on Twitter. I want a masculine man, but they're not in the church. These women don't see you as masculine. They are cucking you. These women are in your churches. They look at you, ew, and they go bang atheists, and you're still telling men to simp? This is borderline cucketry, to be honest. This is this is very close to cucketry. Maybe this is your calling. My desire, my purpose is to still leave a legacy. I want to empower and leave as many of you guys or the world I can in a better place. You want the blood of Hammond, right? Think of any. I mean, I don't really disagree with how, you know, you should want to have a lineage and all that. You know, you want to have he children. He, wants, he says he wants to leave a legacy. Yeah. My name is on three papers that developed three drugs that are in circulation today to treat lung cancer, lymphoma, and the third one's a strange one. but. Oh, you should know the name. Yourself. It's like thrombo um, cytotic obliterans, which is basically when you smoke cigarettes, your fingers die. Really weird disease. Hmm. Yeah. Try telling a smoker not to smoke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like, like no, what's no, wrong with my finger? What's wrong with my finger? It's dead. What do I do? Stop smoking. Okay. Cuts back with another, after the amputation, another finger's black. What do I do? Motherfucker. So anyhow, <laughs> I would argue that my legacy is already leagues beyond whatever he's doing. So I've left a legacy. Can I just be a hedonist now? Is that is that fine? Because hmm. every single argument he's making is just really shallow on a purpose. Now, if he said a man's purpose is to build a strong family and ensure their survival into the future, I like that. Does that require yeah. a woman though? No. See, you had to convince me that a mother is um, beneficial and not even that necessary. 
But when I look at the statistics of outcomes from single father households versus single mother households and dual parent households, single father households are equivalent to two parent households. And in some instances, they're better. Why do you think I got all the degrees I got? Why do you think I'm so interested in science and philosophy and history? Hmm? I'll tell you why. I was raised by my father and that was it. Zero feminine influence on me and my household. Why is chronic so crazy? Why does chronic lift so much? Why does chronic, you know, spend all the time in the lab? Why is chronic meeting with <laughs> people from the Department of Defense to study? Because I don't have to worry about any feminine influences in my life. So I am the more I think about my life and my philosophy, I am really attracted to the idea of running a single father household. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I agree. Like, also, like, I need to stop saying, like, um, women put a lot of emotion, emotional uh, tendencies into children. If you only, if, like, men are logical. And I, I, it's an unpopular, it's an unpopular opinion, but I actually am anti-emotion. Like, I, I think that emotions are the enemy of logic. You cannot make, if you make any decision based on emotion, it's more likely a bad decision. If you make any decision based in logic, it is more likely to be a good decision. But if you, you, you can only make emotional decisions based in logic. So lo logic is king. So if you raise a child to be emotional, they're probably going to be a piece of shit because they have no logical tendencies implanted in them from the father. Yep. But if you only have logical tendencies, you're probably going to be incredibly strong. Like just, just uh, yeah. strong things are going to be very attractive to you because you only have a logical thinking uh, implanted into your mind. If that makes any sense. Now, here's how I see it. Emotions are the flavor of life. You should experience them and encourage them. Some decisions made off of emotions can give you really, really, really bad consequences. Sometimes, though, logically, you agree with your emotions, right? So, like, let's say I am married and my wife is cheating on me with, um, mm, who would be the most embarrassing? Jack Murphy? Yeah. Let's say it's Jack Murphy. And I get so emotional. I get in such a rage. I um, go to the cow supplier and buy a lot of rope. And I do something with the rope in public with those two people. And I well, get the death sentence. That can I'm... actually still be a logical decision. Yeah. You, you can you can have an emotional base, but a logical yeah. decision yeah. In, the, like, in the emotion. Psychologically, what are your goals? Do you want to live forever? You want to live with the embarrassment of having your wife getting banged by Cuck Murphy? Absolutely not. No, no, you can't. You cannot accept that. Can't. If you want to support the show, if you want to support the Warband, consider donating to Cash App. Cash Sign Undercronic. That's Cash App. Cash Sign Undercronic. If you want more Red Pill content like this, consider subscribing to Mac the Snapper. He sits in the Red Pill swamps and snaps the ankles of any simps that come by. Okay, I got taken to the piss. That was a segment, though. You got time for Hell one yeah. more? Uh, I'm just gonna read some comments. Read, uh, okay, you yeah. can you can bounce once you get back if you need to bounce, bro. I'll be back Sounds in a second. Good. Let's see. It. Uh, the soft loud Mac, you cannot have humanity without feeling. You need rationality to bound in your feelings so that they don't overcome good judgment. Well, I'm a turtle, so I don't need my humanity. So, but uh, you really don't. You like emotions are actually. You can have them. I, I definitely, you know, if you want them, keep them. I don't want them. I've, I haven't had them for years, and I, my life is only, it's gone exponentially, like skyrocketed up. I went from having, from living in my truck to being very, very financially stable in only a couple years, just because I chose not to be depressed anymore. I chose not to have emotions, which it, it's not something that everyone can do. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But when you just choose not to give a fuck about anything anymore, then then no, nothing matters. Like you, you can only make logical decisions, 
as Feral Ravage says, Mac doesn't need emotion. He just needs to snap down on his prey. Fucking real. I mean, yeah, it, it, yes, emotions, emotions, I consider them weakness. That's just me. It's just, it's nothing against anybody who has them, but I would just consider it to be. What about, what about, uh, ang- what about anger? Um, I, I even, I don't even feel anger anymore. It's just because I can always, if someone pulls a, a knife on me, I probably won't even bother pulling anything. I'll just try to defuse the situation because it's illogical to get stabbed for no actual reason. I mean, if someone if someone pulled a knife on me, I'd kind of like think that there's a camera nearby, and if there yeah. was, I would be very angry, and I would, um, I'd probably be so angry that the court would prove it was an execution. <laughs> Can I still go to jail? <laughs> but if I just simply like you know rationally took it out and ended the threat, I'd be fine. But no, I would make it slow. <laughs> Shoot the yeah. knees out. I'm like, you trying to stab me? You trying to stab me? You couldn't cut a chicken breast. Shoot him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, mm-hmm. bitch. No Rocky Mountain oysters for grave digging ass bitches today. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I mean, I mean, really though, like to close it out. I mean, I think that even having anger or any kind of emotions, they can definitely drive you further than someone without emotions could go. But yeah, like it, it can push you forward, but it can also hold you back if you can't control them with perfect clarity. Like if you don't know exactly what kind of emotion you're going through right now. Hmm then it'd be better off if you didn't have them at all. Pimpin ain't dead ho says Mac need more uploads. I agree. Completely agree. Real. But dude, go enjoy your lift, man. And um, I'll hit you up later. Okay. All right. Sounds good, dude. Let's Peace. see you. Peace, man. And there was one, one warrior, one war band. If you want to support the show, Consider donating to cashapp.cashineundechronic. That's cashapp.cashineundechronic. Let's find a good uh, let's find a good song to to end with. Hmm. What we got here? Guess I'll go to my channel. Oh, I got it. I got the perfect one. We will put up. Hmm, I'll look at the Remy drinks. All super chats are appreciated, guys. Really helps me out know what shows you like, what shows you don't like. Uh, the Burman says, Will you be streaming tomorrow? Probably. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow, guys. But we got uh, Teza here singing the English version of Forces. It's been unacronic, guys. Take it easy.
the lost and the damned We turn now and sing together again Darkness incarnate, listen to the screams of wind ever violent, nursing my wounds. I travel on, light shining upon my dark path home. I will never forget you, your face on my mind as I march alone down this road, ever endless. Speakers of the dark, guide me onward and let us depart. Hi.